أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله على سيدنا ونبينا ومولانا أبي القاسم المصطفى محمد وعلى أحل بيته الطيبين الطاهرين المأصومين السلام عليك يا أبا عبد الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته There are many books, speeches, articles, blogs, you know, Instagram pages, Facebook pages, whatever you want to say that have been written on Imam al Hussein alayhi salam and try to, you know, analyze and give certain objectives for the Imam's mission. And there are many objectives that are given. You can see many objectives within the words of the Imam alayhi salam. For example, the concept of isalah or reform even revival that the Imam tells uh, as he's leaving Mecca and he tells one of the poets that you know this is why I'm going or he tells he is rather his brother Muhammad ibn Hanafiya this is why I'm going the double islah in the you know to request and to you know kind of get reform and revival in the deen of my grandfather Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi but that is not the only objective, and it is doing injustice to the mission of Imam al Hussein salam, to confine the mission to one particular objective. Now, some people may argue that, you know, how is it possible for a person to have many objectives for one action and always looking at ourselves? For example, if we said, okay, for example, I want to do a particular thing, I have a objective in mind and why I want to do that. I do not look at the other objective or have any other objective besides this. And the teachers of philosophy and of mysticism clearly indicate that because the existential existence of Imam al Hussein salam is so vast, it is so broad, that it is able to encompass more than one objective. And there's a big discussion amongst the scholars regarding this, and we don't want to get into it. So, keeping that in mind, that we know that Imam may have had different missions for different parts of that particular journey, the one journey composed as a whole, and broken up into, and there might even be particular objectives for certain individuals. But there's one particular objective that we can mention that is universal. That it applied at that time to certain individuals, it applies now to certain individuals, and every year the subject occurs, every year. And we see it with our own eyes. One of those examples of this objective we see with Zuhair ibn Aqeen. And if you read the maqdas and you read the books of that meeting of the Imam, nothing is mentioned of what happened in that tent. Nowhere is it mentioned of what the Imam did to Zuhair. Nowhere is it mentioned. But he comes out smiling. What did Zuhair see? Allah knows what he saw. What did the Imam tell him? What did the Imam show him? Allah knows. On the day of Ashura, we see over 30 companions joining the camp of Imam al Hussein from the enemy side. Why? Because the Imam is showing them, keeps on telling them, keeps on reminding them. This is one of the important things that this objective is what? This objective is salvation. That the Imam salam, had this objective. He is the Imam. He is responsible for taking people towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That objective of salvation that Zuhair was shown, Hur was shown. Many individuals saw on the day of Ashura and they saw that no. As Hu clearly says, I am walking between the fire and paradise. And Hussein is salvation. When we sit in the gatherings of Imam al Hussein salam, and we contemplate on our own lives and we contemplate on our own actions during the year and what we have done during the previous year that has gone by, we see ourselves also in the place that where am I right now? I am sitting between fire and paradise. I have many bad actions, but it is Hussein who is able to give me salvation. If I go towards Imam al Hussein alayhi salam, he can take my hand and take me towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And knowing that Imam al Hussein is not dead. We know from the Holy Quran that the martyrs are alive. That Imam al Hussein is alive. And if we really want salvation, this is the month to go. The morning gatherings of Imam al Hussein alayhi salam are those places where we find the salvation. How many people do we know that when attending the majalis of Imam al Hussein, flipped. They became better people. So many stories, so many stories of people who were bad, people who were not religious, people who were anti-religion. 
by hearing about the mission of Imam Hussein, hearing about the sacrifice of Imam Hussein, hearing about the companions of Imam Hussein, the family of Imam Hussein, about Bibi Zainab, salam Allah alayha, Imam Zain al-Abidin alayhi salam, and so on. It is therefore what Imam Khomeini, rahmatullah alayhi salam, what Imam al-Khomeini, rahmatullah alayhi, has famously said, that it is this Muharram and Safar that has kept Islam alive. One of the reasons is that it continues to give salvation, as it did then to certain individuals, it continues to give salvation to everybody. It is universal salvation to all those who come to Hussein. May Allah make us of those who attain that salvation. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh.